You guys ready to tackle a brand new problem? If you want to code along, make sure to hit the link in the description below. It's time to pop our daily dose of code. Guys, today's question has been asked in Apple and Bloomberg. Let's get into it. Shuffle the array. You're given an array consisting of two n elements in the form x1, x2, x3 up until xn, y1, y2, y3 up until yn. Return an array in the form x1, y1, x2, y2, so on until xn, yn. So let's have a look at the input and output first. Input is n, half the size of the array ARR, and ARR is an array of size 2n. So here we can see the input is 3, but the array has 6 elements. That's 2 into 3 elements. This right here is our output. Let's take a slightly closer look at it. So right here, we can see this is our input array, x1, x2, x3, up until xn. And y1, y2, y3, up until yn. In this case, n is 3, so it ends at 3. Now, what we do is, first we're going to take x1 and put it into our result, then y1 into our result, x2 into our result, y2 into our result. Now, I want to refrain, refrain from explaining too much. I want you guys to think about it, figure out what sort of pattern it's forming. Just write it down for a bit. We'll have a look at the constraints as well, really quick. So the constraints are 1 less than equal to n less than equal to 500. The length of the array is 2n. And each element in the array can range between 1 and 1000. So no really special constraints, nothing to be too worried about. I'll leave the screen open. Have a look, have a look. You know the drill. We'll get back to it. So we're back. First thing we're going to do, first hint I'm going to give you is, let's forget about that X, Y business. Essentially, this is a problem of two halves, this half and this half. Now what some of you might have noticed, some of you are the very keen eye, this is actually a very complicated method. So some of you might have noticed that every element in the first half, two, five, and one, are present in the even indices of result. We know the indices of result start from 0. So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If these are the indices of result, you will notice that all the elements in the first half of array are present in the even indices. That's 2, 5, and 1 are present in the indices 0, 2, and 4. And all the elements in the latter half are in odd indices. So you can formulate some sort of mathematical formula to put it into that respective position while iterating through the entire array. So for the first half, they just be in location 2n. For the second half, it would be something like 2 into i minus n plus 1. Now, if this is the method you came up with. It's a really, really good method. Okay, Like I said, it's you have to be very astute to notice this. But it's a little overcomplicated because we have to iterate through the entire array once. What if I told you, you only had to iterate through half the entire array. You don't have to run i from 0 to 2n. Instead, you can run it from 0 to n and get away with it. Now you will be wondering, Vivek, don't I have to visit every single element in the array? If I have to do that, how is it possible for me to only iterate from 0 to n? That's for you to figure out. Just think about it. I've given you like a major clue. We'll get back to it really quick. We're back. Now, just by looking at this, some of you might have got the answer. But let me explain this method. We're going to have two variables pointing to the first element of the first half of the array and the first element of the second half of the array. In other words, first half will be pointing to 0 and second half will be pointing to element n. So now, what we're going to do is take first half and directly put it into our result set. So 2 is going to come in. This 2 right here is going to come into our result. Similarly, we're going to take the second half element and put it into our result. Now we're going to move first half and second half both up by one. Now we're going to repeat the exact same process. And re remember, until one now, only one iteration has been completed. Now we're going to repeat the exact same thing. Take this file. You guessed it. Drop it in. Four goes in as well. And finally, rinse and repeat one last time till we reach our nth iteration, which in this case is 3. Take our 1, drop it in, take our 7, put it in, and we're done. So this entire solution has been done in n iterations. 
and we've successfully solved the problem algorithmically now we've got to convert it into code let's quickly get into that there's it's not too complicated at all today i've coded using c now if you're using c on our little hacker earth platform just be sure to include these two lines they're really important the first is going to be if you are returning an array right make sure to declare it like this doesn't matter if you don't know what it means just remember the size of the array goes here it's called dynamic allocation of memory to an array and also make sure to include this line this part right here has to be the same the size of your result array and this right here is the bulk of our code very simple exactly what we discussed we're going to have a first half that starts from zero a second half that starts from the halfway mark that is n index is just going to track the size of our result array so what this for loop does is we take the first half we put that into our result array and then we move first half's index up by one similarly we take the element in our second half we put that into our result array move second half up by one and that's it afterwards we return result now let's see if it works compile and test we can see all our sample test cases have been passed once we hit the true green button of submission everything has been accepted it works beautifully and that's how you solve the problem shuffle the array guys it's been a pleasure to solve this for you all any doubts any queries any suggestions any better method you've come up with make sure to leave your comments down below and you know the drill like subscribe bell icon if you like the video make sure to support us in any way you can if you like the video it's been vivek kollur i'll see you guys next time